Here is an overview of a large turned aerated pile compost system. It's about 19 square acres. What's shown here is phase one. And then phase two is added right over here. Each phase can handle 110,000 tons per year. The site perimeter is landscaped to reduce visual impact. Stormwater management is achieved by directing the water off the impermeable surface and into a stormwater pond for later reuse. Now for material processing. This is how it works. Small operators, such as you see here with these trucks, pull into this self-haul unloading area to unload their materials. The larger operators come down around here and drop off in this zone right here. This zone can take approximately seven of these truckloads, which are 30 cubic yards. The loader then picks up the material and brings it to this grinder right here, and then swings around and picks up the ground material from here and drops it off here onto the aeration pad. The loader covers the fresh ground pile with about six inches of bio cover to immediately reduce odors, and then comes back to here for another go around. Phase two also has its drop off zone right here with a similar arrangement. These two areas can process up to 750 tons in one day. Now one thing we have here is a pick line. Contaminated material in the self-haul area gets thrown over here and shredded to open the bags. Then goes through a pick line and lands in this pile right here. This pile here then gets brought over and added to the grinder that you see here for final sizing. And that is how the material arrives on the site and gets processed. Now for the aeration. Each one of these four aerated compost areas has 1,400 self-cleaning spargers that inject air and subtract air from the piles. These spargers cool and aerate the eight foot deep piles from top to bottom. You can see one of the spargers here exposed just below the concrete surface. Here is also a clean out to flush out compost that falls through any sparger nozzle. Now if we go under the slab, you'll see that these spargers are connected to the laterals, which then go to the manifold right here. These manifolds trace all the way back to this concrete tank, which collects condensate and leachate for treatment and reuse. Now let's take a closer look at the two manifolds. The dampers that you see here connect the two manifolds the positive manifold is here on top, and the negative manifold, which is the tank, is below. The positive blower right here pushes air into the positive manifold, and that gets out underneath the piles. The negative blower, shown right here, pulls air from the tank, which pulls air from the piles on the aeration slab. This air that gets pulled from the piles then gets pushed into the biofilter system. Now let's go back to the aerated compost area. Once the fresh material gets stacked here, it moves from here all the way up to there by the use of this machine right here. So you can see that the compost turner mows the pile to one side, shifting the whole compost bed north by 22 feet. Turning is done twice a week to add water and to keep the piles fluffed. So about 27 days later, you go from just placing the raw material to stabilized compost that is curing in turned piles. Then 10 days and three turns later, the compost is then taken to the trommel screen here, where it is screened into compost, mulch, bio cover, and overs for fuel. Any residual plastic is removed by vacuum systems. The whole site is designed to handle material as little as possible. 
and get it to a high quality finished compost in less than 40 days. So that's the basic overview of this turned aerated compost system by Green Mountain Technologies. Call us for more information at 802-368-7291.